Hey everybody, in this short video we'll show you how to improve your site's SEO score by using and optimizing H1 and H2, that is heading 1 and heading 2 tags on your site. Now these are heading tags within your code that apply certain style attributes to a particular line of text. Then when search engines scan your site, one of the first places they'll focus on to determine what sort of content you have on the site will be the text that you have inside these heading tags. So these tags are useful for both search engines, which of course has a direct impact on your SEO, but also for user experience, which has a secondary impact on your SEO. Because users that are looking for the type of content your site offers will be able to find your site through search engines more effectively. Then once they are actually visiting your site, with H1 tags typically being the largest and most noticeable text on the page, and H2 tags typically being the next largest and most noticeable, your visitors are therefore better able to quickly scan the site with their eyes and find the content they're looking for. And then from that, the more likely they are to stay on your site. So, this in turn decreases bounce rate and increases visitor time, which will therefore improve your rankings in the search engines. So, properly styled H1 and H2 tags will benefit user experience as well as SEO score. It's sort of a chicken-egg situation, but in this case, luckily for you, you can optimize both chicken and egg. So let's look at what we can do here and what we can avoid when it comes to the search engines. After running our site here on SEO Site Checkup, we can see that we have a couple of issues. We have no Heading 1 tags at all, and we probably have way too many Heading 2 tags. Without these H1 tags, search engines may not fully understand the specific topic or purpose of our website. Similar to having good meta titles and descriptions, we can vastly improve the way search engines will index our site if we have H1 tags that reinforce our content. Simply put, you can think of H1 tags like being the title of an article, and H2 tags are like the subheader of each section within that article. In this case, our page doesn't even have a title which can be confusing, but at the same time it has so many different chapter titles, the search engines might have a hard time understanding our topic. Therefore, the search engines are likely to have a hard time connecting us with our target audience. Now, code-wise, this is a very easy fix. Just add this simple line of code. And within that tag, you can enter in text that reinforces the general topic of your page. And bear in mind that you'll want to follow this principle throughout each page of your site. Now, in the early days of search engine optimization, these headings used to be extremely important. But as SEO criteria and algorithms have evolved, these headings aren't quite king of the hill anymore. But as you can see, they are still very useful and can help improve your SEO. Just keep in mind that it's best to have only one relevant, unique H1 tag per page. And then avoid being repetitive or your site can look spammy. Now there's no hard and fast rule on this, so don't sweat it if you feel like your page is better suited with more than one H1 tag. But generally speaking, other SEO marketers have found that having only one H1 tag per page provides the best results. Then we can also be more thoughtful about how many times and to what content we should apply the same technique to to create our H2 tags. Again, it's not a steadfast rule, but a general rule of thumb is to have no more than 10 H2 tags on any given page. More than this can be confusing, it can look spammy, or, or both. So, that's it on the coding side. Now, let's address the same topic from the perspective of the site visitor. Now, first of all, these heading tags apply a style attribute to whatever text is within the tag. H1 is generally styled to be the largest text on the page, and H2 is styled to be the next largest. But bear in mind that these style attributes can be modified from within your style sheet to look exactly as you want. Now again, to improve user experience, especially if your site has a lot of text, but even when it doesn't, it's usually a great idea to apply these headings. Again, think of H1 and H2 tags being like the title and subheader sections. So in addition to everything I just discussed, purely from the standpoint of a user coming to my site, I want them to quickly find what they're looking for. And these tags, when they're styled correctly to reinforce the meaning of the content, they help do that. So you can think of these headings in two ways. There's the purely visual aspect, or the style, and this is something that web designers often focus on, how does something look on the page? But this is not the most important aspect of the heading. The most important aspect of the heading is the meaning, what the text means to the reader in relation to the content. So in terms of SEO, you want both of these aspects to work together. The most significant text in terms of meaning is ideally the most visually significant element on the page. 
For instance, if the visitor is coming to this particular site worried about dental surgery complications, what do I want? I want them to find that section they're looking for as quickly as possible. So headings and their associated style help organize the page and draw the reader's eye to the general topic that interests them. We've all seen sites without these headings, and in these cases, the reader is required to do a lot more work to visually find the content that is relevant to them. So as a consequence, my bounce rates will dramatically increase. And that will hurt me both in terms of that specific visitor and hurt me in the search engine rankings. Admittedly, this topic isn't as hot as it used to be in the early days, but as you can see, it's still quite relevant, and optimizing your H1 and H2 tags can absolutely strengthen your page's SEO. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.